Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you've made any change to a publication that you want to keep, you should save the publication. Learning to save your work frequently is one of the most important computer skills that you can have. When you save a publication for the first time, you must use the Save As dialog box. To open this dialog box, click the File tab in the ribbon, and then choose Save As from the list of commands. Here, you'll need to give Publisher both a location where the publication will be saved and a file name. And I think we'll go ahead and select to save this just to the desktop for right now. Give it a name that you'll remember, and be sure to remember where you saved it. We'll call this just Flyer for right now. Now, file names can be up to 255 characters in length, but you should probably be short and descriptive. Publisher will not let you use the following symbols in a file name the colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe. After you've given it a name, just click Save to save the publication. Once you've named and saved the file, its name will appear in the publication's title bar, right here. When you save your changes in the future, you will not have to re-enter the name and location. To save changes to a publication you have saved once before, you can either click the File tab again in the ribbon and then click the Save command, or you can click the Save button right up here, the little diskette icon, up in the Quick Access toolbar to let Publisher automatically save the changes to the publication in the same place with the same name. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.